I'm gonna give you an engine low to the ground, extra big oil pan to cut the wind beneath you. I'm gonna give you 30, 40 more horsepower. I'm gonna give you a fuel line, and hold an extra gallon of gas. I'm gonna shave a half inch off of you, shape you like a bullet. Well, fellas, welcome back to the Fab Forms. So, here we go, the long anticipated video where I start laying out some of the body shapes on the back of this thing. Everybody's been wondering. I've had a vision in my head. Let's see if I can make it happen. Started laying out the shape with just some TIG welding filler rod. Just got some pretty, you know, some, yeah, I think it was ER70S or something. Got some pretty thick stuff so it could hold some shape and I could weld it. And then just started laying that thing out kind of how I envisioned it, envisioned it in my head. Just for another reason to kind of see it in person to make sure that it's as good in person as it is in my head. Well, there you go. The basic shape that I've got thus far. So I'm just planning on kind of continuing this body line all the way out to this edge here. Kind of give it this shape and then start rolling that stuff up. Probably remove a lot of this sheet metal here, redo it. But it should just come down and kind of wrap, kind of wrap around there. 
So that's the basic shape that I've always had in my head. Kind of that 30s coupe look and I roll it down. Kind of have a you know curve this way as well. Um, obviously I'm not doing the mail slot back window. I'm gonna do some kind of diamond shape back window. Kind of match this stuff that's going on in here. Uh, I think I'm gonna end the sheet metal right here though. Versus coming all the way down like this leave it open and I'm gonna do like a tubular rear bumper setup back here mainly just to hold tail lights um, the tag that kind of stuff and what I might do is incorporate some some sheet metal that kind of ties into that down here so it'll kind of stop and then kind of pick up where it left off a couple reasons for that I want to kind of show some of this stuff off I want you to be able to see underneath here so you can kind of peek through that little slot um, a lot of these cantilevers and stuff like that, I want to be able to fold up through that, so yeah, that's the plan thus far. Got the basic shape done. Now, this is actually the easy part. I just kind of wanted to make sure that it looked okay, that my vision looked okay. So now, really, just trying to figure out how to turn this TIG rod into sheet metal. I think the way that I want to do that is I'm just going to take, I've got some 22 gauge sheet metal. Um, really that whole back half is going to be made out of 22 gauge, I believe, depending on how, how easy it is for me to work it. Obviously, this is kind of my first go at some serious metal shaping, so we'll see. You'll be along for the ride as I do it. Anyway, I'm going to start off though with just uh, some... Some 22 gauge, break it. I think this is like an inch wide, break it in half. Maybe it's an inch and a half, so it's like three quarter on each side. Break it in half. And then I can stick this in the shrinker stretcher and start putting some shape on it. So something like that. You can kind of see I can make some curves. I've talked about this a little bit in past videos. And then the idea is I can start to recreate this shape that I want back here. More so for like gussets, it's gonna be like, I'm gonna make the gussets that are gonna hold the right, right shape and then I'll also use it as a buck and kind of as I'm shaping this sheet metal in pieces, I can make sure that it kind of fits up to the little gussets that I've made.
Once I got it laid out, I was pretty happy with it. it. Turned out just pretty much how I envisioned it. Made a couple little tweaks just based on what it looked like. The back window was one of those things where I didn't know the shape, I didn't know how it was gonna be. Ended up going with a diamond shape that kind of fits those uh, radiator ducting pieces. If I sound a little nasally, I got a hold of something on the way back from Vegas. Man, I've, I haven't been able to kick it. Still affecting me. All right, there you go, another another Bibster video. A little body shaping. Hopefully soon I can get kind of those, a lot of those pieces finished up and then actually start forming some sheet metal around that and see if we can make it look like somebody didn't make it in their garage. Let's do a quick couple little shop updates for you guys that are interested. I usually do them at the beginning, but I figured I need to make the bibs for the primary and then we'll do some shop updates at the end. So you're well aware of the office space, nothing new. Got a tailgate going on over here, a gas pump. I did finish the wood all the way up, so this space is uh, feeling pretty finished. But that's not what I want to show you. What I want to show you is this bad boy right here. So I made me like an, a legit fronius wall. I don't have it full yet, but the idea is that, you know, somebody comes in the shop, got some stuff on display that can kind of check out all my fronius stuff. Got all my torches that I use on a regular basis. Got the CK conversion. Got my homemade conversion. Got the Fronius stuff. Here's the Fronius's new torch handle that they're working on. This is prototype. You seen it here first. And then more torches, gas lines, regulators, liners, ground straps. You name it, I got it. Hand welded, TIG welded aluminum. Front is present. That's right, hook me up. And I got the trans pocket, so the idea is I'm gonna put some stuff on display. Trans pocket, probably do the Accu pocket up here. Kind of put some of that stuff on display. Stack the cases here. Hopefully, this wall will be finished at some point. And then, yeah, just a place to hang some shirts. I've got a Frank's welding jacket, some other stuff. So, anyway, you get the gist. All right, guys, there you go. Another the Bibster video. Hope you all digged it. As always, thank you for joining me. I'll see you guys some more next week. I think, I think I'm gonna try to do Friday posts. So every Friday, my plan is to expect a video from me, whether that's tool video or a full fabrication video, Bibster, gonna do some stuff on the dually, the goose, been working on the goose, might go for a ride pretty soon. Anyway, y'all have a good weekend, see you next week, go do work, son.